hi everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, this should be Tuesday-ish for you for me it's the beginning of Sunday uh, yes welcome back you're all welcome please hit the um, like subscribe the bell button and drop a comment if you feel like it and we're uh, continuing our KSR Moto GRS 125 build So yes, welcome back. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. I think we're expecting a visit from Nat, from Nat Snackers Yard. Um, we, oh, and and apparently Rab Jab, you all right? Um, I, I think I've got a plan for the gear shift lever thing. Again, the only one online I can find anywhere in the world is 80 quid, I'm not paying that. So here's my plan. I've got the pedal from Gary's over there and then of course I've got the the linkage for down on the actual shaft there but the biggest issue here is that this linkage is too small to reach there I happen to have this long threaded bar here that will work that fits in I don't know how I've got that lucky guys that's I'm not even joking um, the bar fits so I think I need to mock up this and basically get it functioning again in its normal capacity uh, and I think I can do that so I'll have to blitz this off now I've already checked um, this bar is a little bit too uh, small to fit on the area I need which is behind here I'll show you in a minute because I'm going to blitz that off so I do need to do a bit of drilling out or a bit of filing but that's that's okay, with enough grease and stuff, it'll pivot absolutely fine. Um, and then it's about just kind of making it work using the threaded bar. So that's the plan for now. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. If I can do that, then I can take it out after and give it a bit of a spin. Um, there was lots of oil splashes yesterday, and what it was, was I left this cap and this cap off. So it just spat up everywhere. And I was desperately looking into the engine. I was like, where's this coming from? But um, yeah, it was it was flying up from here. So um, I will test it today for how sealed it is. But I think if we're extremely lucky, we could, we could actually just take this out today for a test. I've put a cone filter on and I've slightly restricted it with some simple tape uh, because that could be the final setup. Um, otherwise I'll get the air box back. And uh, and kind of we're, we're kind of we're okay right now at this stage. We're not looking too bad. So let's get um, let's get this off. Let's make this slide on so that it pivots, and then we'll look at where we go from there. All right. So Rab Jab's watching me. Um, I need to drill out this um, hole a little bit because this is where it slides on to. And um, Rabjab's asking a couple of questions about the bike. Question one, what was question one, Rabjab? Uh, why is the gear lever back to front? Yeah. Look who it is. Um, it's not, I think someone chucked that on to sell it. I think that's the truth. Not Mark, not the last owner, the only owner before him. Um, all right, Nat. I only caught up on Nat's videos last night about the um, forks. Uh, so I had no idea what was going on. Uh, Rabjab, what was your second question? Question one was... Uh, so which idiot the... why, why was that put on? Yeah. That was chucked on to sell the bike, but not by the last owner, by the owner before. But you, agree, you had a question after that. Oh yes, how much? Mm. Like 230 quid. Mm -hmm. The whole bike. <laughs>
So uh, really great to see Nat there today. I've been meaning to go and see Nat for a while. Um, he beat me to it. I will pop up there soon though. Uh, this kind of fabrication stuff takes forever. Um, it's got a simple fat bit, but it doesn't go all the way through because it's just slow and it heats up and so on. But it is something that needs to be done. Uh, so we carry on at this stage for now and we see how well we can do it. Uh, the problem is you don't get much work done from the kind of progress point of view. So today there may not be much filming. I do want to get this on so that I can at least select gears and give the bike a little basic test run today. So I am hacking away, I am continuing. Uh, you can kind of do two things here, you can bore that out a bit which is fine and you can you can uh, take that down a little bit, both of it will help. It is close, you just need the right drill bit to do it properly. Um, a bench drill uh, would be good for this. So I am hacking away here, we are carrying on. The bike's still there, doing its thing, nothing. Um, but yeah, it's long, it's a much longer process than it seems. Uh, it's probably taken an hour so far of actually doing it, and then obviously me, Rev Jab, and uh, Nat was um, chatting in between. So I need um, a slightly bigger bit. What am I running, a 13? I need a 14 and maybe a 15. I'm gonna have to order them. But what I've not done today is run it through a heat cycle, so uh, let's set you up. Let's get it fired, we want it for a heat cycle. It's got the cone on, so let's see if it seems okay or not. With that. Sounds fairly healthy to me. A um, little bit of smoke, not overly. Let's give it a couple of minutes to uh, warm up, get up to temperature. We'll look for oil leaks around the engine. We'll look for smoke. We'll see how we're doing.
still little bits of smoke, but um, again, remember we ran it for a good 10 minutes yesterday on the other exhaust and it didn't smoke at all. So we are just burning off the crap inside the exhaust. And it's gonna take a few of these heat cycles to do that. Um, but the engine sounds great with that cone on, especially slightly restricted. Um, it's got its full rev range, which is spot on. Uh, I'm gonna leave it a couple more minutes. I'm not gonna make you watch because you have better things to do with your time. I am still over here working away, but it's very slow progress. I really, I needed the right bits. I needed the bigger bits, which was um, 12, 13, 14, and 15, instead of kind of wasting my time uh, doing it like this. But um, I'm gonna carry on for now because I'm close. If I can get a gear selector on and take this thing for a quick spin, that would be great. See, it looks very, very smoky now, but smoke is not coming from the engine. It's coming from the exhaust. It's burning off what's left in there. So I'm gonna let it run for a little while. I'll let it run through what fuel's in there. Um, that's also uh, E5 premium fuel, which will be good as well. I might even put a touch of cleaner in there. Bye.